let's resume. Hey, whoa! Now I'm stuck in a door like Han Solo. Not cool, Momo. Oh, you're Seamus. Come on, dude, where are you going? Oh, I have to fix the track, are you kidding me? No, no, it's fine. I'm just a cat trying to find your dad. Come on, Seamus. You've got to fix that tracker. <laughs> You're a serviceful. Maybe you can find someone in the slum. <laughs> no, I can't do that guy's voice anymore. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. It's definitely going to be floor scrub guy. Yeah, I know. You clumsy rascal. Okay. I'm going to go back to the bar. We're going to start with... I like when I do this, because then it doesn't matter what direction I push, he goes in some random direction. Come on. It was cute for a minute, but isn't the bar over here? Hello, bar. Okay. We're gonna go downstairs. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yo. I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interest at Seamus's? Yeah. You could say that again. So, just not even willing to help. I literally watched you fix the thing earlier. It's fine, buddy. It's fine. No, no I'll go meet new friends. Bowmaster can be right. You're new around here. What can I be doing you for? What if you saw this thing? A beautiful object and rare, too. I mean, excuse me. I'm sorry, French accent. Is there a beautiful object uh, and very rare, too? I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. Like this. He's very talented and just a little, um, well, uh, you will see. His name is uh, Elliot. His office is just uh, left of here at near the grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Thanks, Jacob, the sudden Frenchman. To the left now. Is that kind of this way? There are signs all over his door. Here's the grandma shop. Dear grandma, will you please make me a poncho? I do love knitting. So far I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It is something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not as easy to find the right materials around here. Ah. We did that cat thing the cats do. There are signs all over his door. This place seems very safe. I want my soda or whatever. I did the thing to get a soda, but can I not push the little door? Hmm. Fine. Ooh, a memory. Rip humans. That's a dark thought. Rip humans heart. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems like they're all dead now. What do you think? It feels like being dead. You know, I try not to think about it, B12, personally. It's, uh... 
that is an existential crisis just waiting to happen. <laughs> I know it's silly coming to me, coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. No, it's cool, man. I uh, Now I have to think about that as a cat whose life is even shorter. I feel like we have not gone to the right place. So, we will... Wait a minute. Elliot programming. Elliot programming. Barterman. Ooh, Barterman. We should go see Barterman, too. Super Spirit Laundry. Grandma Clothing. Elliot programming. Should we go talk to the Barterman first? He's apparently this way. Is this Barterman? No, nope, that's Zoe. This guy's cleaning that paint again? Sure making use of all that detergent. All right, Zoe, we'll catch you later. Cool cowboy hat. Seems rad. <sighs> Is this the Barterman? This was Joey. Lovely day for a little bartering, don't you think? Dang. All right, so you're the barterman. That's good to know. Guy's pissed. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. <laughs> so weird, Rosie. Have you been smoking marijuana? Uh, <laughs> we don't age like our soft one ex ancestors. We're trapped here. Forever. Wow, Rosie, that is really bleak. You need somebody to meow at you every once in a while. That'd be nice. Where's that creepy dark alleyway? This is Grandma. Oh, hey guys. Grandma made these clothes pretty, or made me these clothes pretty stylish. No, totally stylish. You look great, Corey. Guap. You want something? No, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks, Guap. Barterman, Spear Laundry. LA programming. LA programming is this way. Am I, I'm obviously missing a very obvious door. Lots of signs on it. So here's Grandma Clothing. It must be down this dark hallway then. I can't remember. Now that's a lot of signs right there. Or a, whatever. It's really bright over there. Oh, I never started my timer, you guys. Hot dog. Give me a second. I'm not good at things. So we'll skip it up to... ...55 minutes. There we go. Might get a little extra time this time. I bet you I've been going for more than five minutes. Wait a minute. It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks.
Okay. Hey, there's my energy drink. Oh, it fell out. It's a good thing we came back this way. Dude, this is dumb. I'm kind of annoyed that I can't figure this out. <laughs> is it this one? So she's got a little white text on her sign. And he's got little red text on his sign with lots of binary on it. So when I go over here, she's got a little white sign, which matches that. Fine. Oh, who's this guy? That's Rosie. Sorry, Rosie. I assume, yeah, I'm just retreading all these same places. Oh yeah, I have a light. This is why it's gonna take me seven hours to play this game instead of five. Stop making rolling bucket noises. The bucket's not rolling anymore. I'm just being bitter because I can't figure this out. Vending machine. Speed 2x, dope. All right, sign says this way. Is there a door on this side of her place? There's this door, but it didn't look interactable. <laughs> like looking up now and stuff too, just to be like, extra careful. Familiar with the mission. I guess I'm going to make sure that all these doors are actually not interactable. 
encoder with a cool CD alleyway hangout. I mean, this all makes sense. I just, there's the one door here that I was able to scratch on, but it didn't look like after that I could do anything else. Mm-hmm. was the one door where we could do anything. Is there a way to get like above that? I mean, it feels like they would have told me if we needed to go up. Heptor? Heptor has like a face. <laughs> you do look weird and small, but there is something about you. He's not one of those guys, is he? That would have been kind of dumb if that was the case. Because I've seen those guys a million times, I just didn't think it was them. I don't think it's them, but we're going to go talk to him just in case. Wait, no, hang on. That's Grandma. So we'll ask Jacob again. Dude, your directions were terrible, or I'm not very smart. It could be both. Interested for some drink? No. What a beautiful object and rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented as well. You will see. His name is Elliot. He's up. This is just left of here near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. You guys are probably shouting at me in chat. Okay, so we go out here, we go to the left. There's a sign that says Elliot Programming to the right. Do I need to go up here and to the right? I don't think that's even an option. Okay, so definitely not. Well, there's no definitely about anything anymore. So we go here. Signs all over his door. Is this it right here? Holy smokes. This is it right here. Oh my gosh. What a disaster. If you're still with me, it's very patient of you. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Well, what if I scratched at the door? How many times did I look right at this? Hello. No? You're not going to let me back out? Fine. Who are you? Nestor. You are here for Elliot. He is just over there. That is a picture of a person. Of a robot person. We were programmed to be slaves. But since 254875556 days, we have a soul. One day, the outsiders will find this or the exit of this hell, Momo. 
Momo getting kind of serious about his uh, departure. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Nestor, for letting me in. Dude, it's a plant. Remember when we were on the surface? There was a plant? Let's look at this one and get a memory back for B12. What do you see? The tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity has found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic light, or excuse me, organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. Hmm. New memory unlocked. It's got a sticky note on there that has funky alien language on it. Ooh, and an old sound card. Those were great because you could plug in a gamepad back in the day. Who's with me? Anybody? Hmm? Old MIDI, MIDI controller game pads. I'm gonna get in the way first and we'll talk second, all right, pal? Uh, <laughs> yes, I can I help you? I hope so, buddy, I really do. Uh, we should show him the, trans or the, the transmitter, the tracker. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this as a Tohima BR-2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. Oh no. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. You're a robot. Don't worry, the tracker is safe here with me. You found some way to get rid of me? Okay, Elliot. Unless I have a cloth to keep warm. Well, let's go talk to Grandma. Maybe she's integral. By the way, I enjoy your little cool keyboard with the colored, uh, different colored keycaps. That looks pretty cool. I enjoy your funky music too, Elliot. I also enjoy that all of this is definitely free music that uh, that won't get me in trouble with Twitch. Grandma! Grandma! I need a blanket. This is where I need the electric cable. Can I just take one of these? <laughs> Doesn't look like you're using them. I guess there's some plants right here. These haven't been totally unique, I suppose. Maybe Momo knows where we can get some electric cable. I'm really struggling to get them. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Yes. Well, no. Uh, I don't know where to go now. Barter guy? Joey? Joey Jojo Shabadoo? What's up, Joey? Look at all the great stuff. So many treasures. You should go. Oh, you're not the barter man. This looks like some robot propaganda right here. Hey guys. He's got any blankets in here? No? Is this the barterman? 
Electric cable. And a blanket. Hello, I am the merchant of the market. Azuz! You give me something, I will give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drink cans. I can do no less. This is a set of electric cable, the best on the market. I'll exchange this for a super sprint detergent or spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Now you're in luck, buddy. Because I want a cat poncho more than anything. Except for I'm starting to think that it's going to be a poncho for that other dude. But I only have two energy drink cans. Oh. Okay. What else you got? What's what's in there? Nothing. That's an empty box. That's where the cable came from. Well, let me go see if I can get a poncho first. Hey, wait. What do we got here? <laughs> I'm a cat, and I'm buying stuff out of energy drinks or uh, containers. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Okay, cool. Well, let's go buy that. I think that's a blanket. I don't know what it is, but maybe we can get another energy drink and buy the other thing too. First, we'll start with this. The marketplace. Hey, man. Whoa, a memory. This is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified automatic cleaners. Kind of like that guy at the super sprint place, am I right? Or spirit place. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them. And in a way, they kind of kept them going from going extinct. They're good robots. Cool, thanks man. I kind of want this sheet music though. What else you got? Do you really just have three things? Three things of narrative interest to my character? All right, grandma. Excuse me. Knit me the greatest cat poncho the world has ever seen. Oh, snap. Please be an adorable cat poncho and I'd like a cat cowboy hat too. It looks like I'm already wearing it. This is exciting. No, it's not. It's not being worn. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Uh... Perfect for a cold robot. I wanted it to be a cat poncho, but I understand why it can't be. <coughs> Excuse me. What's that other thing I got then? I traded you for that other thing that you said was like the pride of our people or whatever. I was like, do I have to go back in the window? Which I could figure out how to do. What's up, Shiver Me Timbers? You're 
You're welcome, buddy. You're welcome, dude. It looks pretty good on you. Let me take a look. I've got to give it an update and one more thing. Voila! It seems like perhaps you just gave me the runaround to get a free jacket. There you go, little one. Good luck in finding who you're looking for. I wonder if I just bought that item to get that memory. If that's like the whole purpose of buying that item. That might have been it, really. Jeez. Forever to figure that out. That was kind of dumb. But that's okay. Sometimes when you're working in a 3D environment, it's not always as obvious as you might think. Did we ever talk to this teddy person? Oh, we did, yeah. She knits so well. She does. Grandma's sweet. If only she could make something cat-sized. Maybe it's not programmed into her. Man, I'm really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Did I? Is it one of those new game consoles? Are you serious, bro? I guess I'll go ahead to Seamus's house, which I'm confident I remember exactly where it is. Is there an energy drink thing in this machine? Can I get one out of there? No? Looks like it's empty. I would like to get more energy drinks out of here, personally. It seems like there's tons of them. Whoa, a safe. Uh, okay. It's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. Hmm. I wonder if our good friend Elliot can help us with that. Oh, hello. <gasps> a musician. We have music, remember? Oh my gosh, this guitar is amazing. It's made out of an old gas can. That would sound terrible. And yeah, I'm going to take a load off. Just for a sec. Okay, back to work. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Then are you really a musician? Uh, I've got part of a song. Sounds cool. Here, watch this. Watch that. You're also left-handed. This was absolutely played on a keyboard. because it's two instruments. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, uh, enjoy your song, dude. I was going to try to go back to Seamus' little casita and see what he's up to. Seamus? Oh, okay. 
I was like, did somebody come over here and wait and like kill you? Did you manage to fix that tracker? Sure did, boss. Well done. Yeah, I had to have a blanket made for some reason. It was wild. Give it here. Sure, buddy. I like how we've reinvigorated Seamus. Like, he's ready to live his life again. <clears throat> it's proper. Again, there is no evidence of that, Seamus. Maybe. I feel like taking you with me is sort of a liability. And also, you should clean up your apartment. What is all this crap on the floor? Are these cigarettes? Have you been smoking, Seamus? If your father found out. It's probably, I mean, it's probably fine. You do what you need to do, Seamus, to cope with the potential loss of your father. I mean, if your dad is in town, maybe, maybe you could have just looked a little harder. Uh-oh, it's that door that only the guardian can open. Remember this from, is it part one or part two? This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. He's not gonna be able to open the door. We already learned earlier that only the guardian can open that door. Now, if he opens it, then we'll learn that he's the true guardian and can be king of all England. Well, never mind. This is total nonsense. Oh, golly. Um, I don't have the Zerk Waste and Gun yet. Seamus, buddy, we're less, you didn't even pack a lunch. We are not equipped for this. I Listen, I don't mean to be a worry ward here, but... I'm not as fast as you. Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it, and he will know that you are a friend. Gained a new item. A little shape. <clears throat> I'll open the door for you. I never solved the safe's mysterious password. I had so much to live for. Maybe we'll come back to the village and we can go talk to, uh, I'm guessing Elliot's our man for that. Or our roboid. So you you want me to go out here? Do I have your tracker? What's going on? Bring my father back. Well, that's a good that's a good indicator. We will probably bring his father back. And then we can figure out the clues to the mysterious safe. Oh my gosh. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. All right, let's see. Ooh, a body of water. That has been filled with garbage and evil. This little tuk tuk. That's awesome.
<laughs> Do not enter signs. Yeah, let's go in there. I love the like baby Half-Life 2 vibes this game gives off. It's so cool. This lighting is pretty rad too. Chapter whatever, dead end. So about that gun your father has, um, shit. Gotta go. Oh, no, 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 no. Not today, not today, not ever. Oh boy. I will say that they do move in fairly predictable ways, which is after me at all times. Yay! Oh boy. Oh boys, these are boisterous. Go, 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 go. Ah, I don't want this. This is not how one should live. In constant fear of being zerked. Which sounds like something we should not look up on. Urban Dictionary. Uh, where do we go? No, 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 no. B, 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 B. How do you get out of here, man? No, 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 no. This ain't it, boss. That ain't, that ain't it, fam. What on earth is the trick here? So, do I? Oh, I just. Never mind. This is dumb. I thought that was like a lake. Flipping A. Now I'm tired. I ran extra laps. Don't jump down yet. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Definitely don't. You'll turn into a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Holy crap. Secret of the ooze, man. <laughs> so I just, I want to run a couple extra laps. No big deal. Keep ourselves safe. What on earth was that? Okay, so this is going to swing about. Uh, yeah, this seems like a destination, really. Not just a place where someone goes to die. Uh, oh, okay. Where does that going to go? I think we want to go back that way, but we got to do the jump jump. We'll jump over here and, you know, we'll make sure that we don't push off on the... There we go. Seems real stable. How do you change it? I think you just hold the jump button. No, 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 let's not. Okay, nobody asked for this. Although it's kind of sweet. Ah! No, 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 no. Get up, Max. Max! Are you hurt, buddy? Uh, are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. Gosh, I hope so, because that guy has a laser gun that probably doesn't work. We must be close. Oh, no! Broken leg. Come on, guys. Oh, Little dude. I'm sorry, Max. Uh, as before, it seems to be a temporary leg breakage. I'm gonna guess he just, like, you know, he's milking it. He's like a professional soccer player. Football player, for those of you across the pond. We could call it kicky ball, but something tells me that you'd be offended by that term. So we won't. We won't even bring it up. Forget I said anything. Uh, that looks like it could be unstable. There is so much HVAC in this city. Which I guess, you know, if you were coming down here to evade some horrible natural or nuclear disaster on the surface, lots of HVAC is going to be required. Lots of filtration. 
At first I thought it was kind of excessive and they were just reusing uh, textures a lot, but, and shapes and, and items they rendered, but I, I could buy that for a dollar. That kind of makes sense. Is that Doc? Okay, well, I thought this was like... Eh, Zerks. I hope that's not Doc. There's little blue squares rising off of him. Hang on. Let's go back this way real quick. For completion... Completion's sake. And see what's up here, if anything. Um, okay, I don't think we should go there yet. I think we want to go back and see if that dead robot, hopefully wounded robot, and not dead, is our friend's father, Seamus's papa. Seamus's proud papa. Oh no, his leg is like janky. Remember? Oh, it's a memory. That must be what the blue indicates, is it's a memory. Okay. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we go to the outside, what if we find ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. New memory received or recovered or whatever. I'm sorry, little robot. I'm sorry no one was here for you. I don't know why you would be fishing. You don't need to eat. Um, okay. He's <laughs> stretching. Alright, so I guess we gotta go back the other way. So this was the dead end exploratory extra bonus place. Oh, look, I gotta. That's where I put that little symbol that Seamus gave me. It's on the side of my little backpack. I'm gonna call it a backpack, not a harness, because I refuse to be caged. I am the main character of this story. The oxygen consumer. Guess that doesn't make me better than anyone else, but. I will not be harnessed. Okay, basketball, which what you all about? There's no drinks in here. Got some cables that run over here across this chasm. Go to that machine. Okay. Checking our resources. Exploring, as it were. Use item. Well, you hold your horses, game. Use that item when I'm good and ready. I think I'm probably good and ready, but. Ugh, Zerks. It seems like that's my primary interactable at the moment. Once we use the item. Something will wake a bunch of horrible zerks. I'll have to run over here. Do I need to be afraid? Was that me? Oh my gosh, this is horrifying. 
Just horrifying. Jeez, stop meowing. When I don't hit the meow button, don't meow. <laughs> You're startling me, little dude. Despite all my rage, I am still just too zerks in a cage. Well, I hope I can go back outside. Damn it. Who would keep zerks in a cage? None other than perhaps Doc? I think we really cracked the code on this one, you guys. So, did I screw it up by not hitting that switch earlier? I just wanted to explore a little. Can I go downstairs? Rusty old robot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's crazy hair cables. Whoa! Marty! <laughs> it's... <laughs> Marty, we've got to get back to the slums! All right, let's see what this guy wants to talk about. You're not a zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. Where did you find it? Did my son send you? I'm making that leap immediately. Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came out here to test my defluxer, you know, 400 yards from the village, and it didn't go as planned. I'll allow Doc a little narrative dissonance here. Uh, I wish I could get back home. I miss my son dearly. Of course you do. Seamus misses you. He's a real sad sack all the time. Like he's got like goggles up top and then his little eyeballs, his little iPad eyeballs. That's awesome. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. I'm guessing he can't make the jump back across the, uh, across that little, that little chasm I referenced. Oh, doc. Look at these old servers. I had computers like that back in the day. Oh man, sorry bud. Quantum tunnel. It's a tunnel about time. Uh, we are 10 minutes or so, 11 minutes away from our next intermission period and I am excited to get there and ooh, what's going on here and chat with you guys but i kind of like to see what we can figure out here i've seen humans wear costumes like this they were small and running around and making lots of noise he's talking about kids oh yes i remember now they were children the streets felt much more alive with them even with the difficulty they brought the adults seemed to love them very much Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Yes, B12. Yes. Do you have any energy drinks? Of course not. Doc's been drinking all the energy drinks. He's been drinking all the energy drinks. Dude, you got a lot of old monitors, Doc. All right. I love all this equipment that they've modeled, all this old kind of analog looking stuff. What are you, whoa, geez, man, how you doing? Do you mind? We're stuck. These Zerks will attack as soon as we step outside. I don't know, man, I just kind of walked over here. It was pretty easy. You could just walk with me. Where's your weapon? I need your anti-Zerk Blasto Ray. Can I knock those mugs off? You know what, just in case we have to live here for a while. Okay, um, maybe I shouldn't, like, make enemies with Doc by destroying his one coffee mug. You got a hacksaw? That's pretty cool. 
All right, where is uh, something of value? Anything at all? That's gonna be where we go next. Man. Kind of a cool little workshop you got set up over here, though, dude. Um, yeah. It's three. Despite all my rage, I am just three. He's a Man. Scritch scratch. Dude, you gotta you gotta tell me where the stuff in your house is. Give me a tour, bro. Wait a minute. That looks like a friggin' spotlight. I'm an idiot. I mean I'm just a cat. How much can you possibly expect out of me? Hey, be careful with that defluxer! At full charge, it could explode Zerks like confetti! This baby needs 1.20! <laughs> This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. <laughs> and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. <coughs> it's too dangerous for you to get out there and fix it. No, I get it. Me with my opposable thumbs and speed. Let me take care of that for you. I'm just not fast enough. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxor recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. A bolt of lightning. A bolt of lightning. Marty. It's your kids, Marty. It's your Zerks, Marty. All right. Yep. I need you to open the window. Take this fuse. It's a brand new fuse. Hey, look at that. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Great. Thanks, bro. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the deflexor. I'm going to need a pocket deflexor that is a shoulder-mounted one, just like Bill Burr had in Mandalorian, so that I can waste these guys with my mind. Uh, you need to follow this cable, change the fuse, and meet me back here. You got it, buddy. So good news, guys. It turns out that I would have tried to use that thing, and it would have been like, well, no, the fuse is broken. So we didn't miss out on anything. Thanks, Doc. I'll take your fuse and raise you. Is that where I came up? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we just follow the cable, huh? Oh, hey, man. Are you going to snipe Zerks for me? That'd be dope. Do, 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 do. Use item X. The item I'd like to use? Sheet music. No, uh, we'll use the fuse. Let's plug that bad boy right in there. Uh, can I run from Zerks now? Look at this dude, he's, he's so gonna help me. You better help me, Doc. Yes. Melt those little MFers. Oh, Doc! 
No, 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 no. Oh, my lord. Doc, I need you to have line of sight on these assholes. Come on, bro. Ah. Oh. I should have known. That, like, just power through method. We gotta be, we gotta be more deft than that. We've gotta be smarter than that. Can we get back to Doc's apartment? We have four minutes before the timer. Are they coming for me? Oh, they're coming for me. Okie donkey. Oh my gosh, they're big fat ones. Yeah, oh no, 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 no. We did it again, we did it again. Uh, where's Doc's apartment? Oof. We had to wait for the light, you guys. Doc, you brilliant man. We gotta get you back to 1985. <clears throat> Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the, yes, you saved my life with it at least twice in the last 30 seconds. It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this deflexor to your drone. The deflexor is enormous. It's like five times the size of B12 but I like where your head's at. And don't call B12 a drone. B12 knows a lot of stuff and we keep remembering things, you know? Equal rights for robots. Be cool, man. You're a robot, you should understand. It worked. The deflexor is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source, so if you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now, let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, boy. Coming home, son. To my boy. What's the, well, I guess if I was to put that sentence together, I'm coming home to my boy. My boy, father help. Uh, okay, let's go. That's my boy. Yes. You guys know the thing I'm talking about, right? Are we gonna go out the door? Hey. Uh, how do we use the deflexor? Take out those zerks so we can get through. Left bumper. It can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. Dude, I hope it will last until we reach the village. Left bumper, gotta remember that. Uh, we've got a minute, guys. We're gonna try to get through this sequence. We may overrun the timer, that's okay though. I don't know why, like this guy, the idea that he would give his weapon to a cat's robot, which is a concept that is pretty hilarious, actually. The robot belonging to a cat is a bit absurd. This switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Well, you're the scientist. You're gonna put me into that vent? I don't want you to put me into that vent. How do we get over there? Or maybe he's onto something. Seems unlikely. Can I jump onto this railing? No. Can I jump onto that thing? It's way too high. Come on, get at it. Get over yourself. What do you think? And obviously the power goes this way, man. Hmm. Talk with Doc. There must be a way to open that door. Agreed. Um. Hmm. Oh, hang on. We gotta get this one out of the way so we can move that one. Okay. 
This barrel is a red herring. This barrel. We got it, didn't we? Can you imagine that guy's like, hey, you wanna keep the noise down? And I'm like, dude, gotta follow the bright yellow cable on the wall. Oh boy, this seems like a place I don't want to be. <laughs> there is power in here. Oh, giant switch. Okay. Ah, right bumper! No! <laughs> right bumper only works when they're in front of you! Ah, come on! How far back are we talking? Do I gotta roll the barrels again? Don't make me roll the barrels again, please. <sighs> I think actually... No, let's pause. Let's do our intermission here, guys. This is the right time, I think. So guys, we're gonna head over to intermission. We're gonna discuss the game and I will see you when we get over there. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, we've got a few new viewers in, which is fantastic. My name is Clyde Plays Live, or my name's Clyde, this is Clyde Plays Live, and we're doing a little stray today, a special event stream. So at this point, we're gonna chat just a little bit about what's been going on in the game. Um, I think since our last uh, moment, it took me five years to find Elliot's house, which was stupid. But when we finally did, we scratched and his buddy let us in, we went up there, it turns out he was a little cold, so we worked with uh, Grandma and the the junk seller guy, the barter man, and we got uh, a, a little blanket for him, a little shawl. We did a nice community service. We got that guy a little bit warmer. He fixed our tracker, went back to talk to Seamus, and then Seamus uh, led us out to the wilderness where his father um, was located. Uh, and so there we are. So at that point, we went out here, we found old Doc, we got a laser. 1.21 gigawatts, Marty! I know, right? <laughs> we found Doc and I was like, that guy looks like Doc Brown. And then he started talking like Doc Brown, which was great. But uh, anyway, then we, uh, yeah, we found our, we're starting to find our way back. Uh, obviously learning to use the laser is a little bit tricky. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to do our best there. Uh, I got Midwatch Cowboy in here. We got JCR, Brand. Hey, Alteran is here as well. An intermission pause. Oh boy, Yeesh, that's pretty good. I enjoy it. Barter guy ripped me off. Did he really? Oh, I mean, obviously. Come on. There was no way I was going to be able to to make enough money or to, to, you know, trade stuff. That stupid thing that he sold me was dumb, right? Like, I bought it so I could get a memory. That's kind of lame. Although I do like getting those memories back. It's cool to see B12 story unfold a little bit like that. Um... I, yeah, we're about to be armed and dangerous, which is cool. Obviously, the weapon's going to overheat at times, which is going to give it some limit. Uh, I got one musical sheet. Oh, speaking of music, I should put some on here. Here's one. Put some tunes on in the background while we're chatting. Um, I found one musical sheet. There's more music I can buy from that dude, but I don't have enough... Uh, Stuff. I took it to the guitar guy who's got the sweet, like, uh, gas can guitar, and he jammed for a little bit, um, played some tune for me, and I took a little nap, which was cool, but I don't know a ton about that. Now, let's, uh, you know, as we find, apparently there's like eight different pieces of music, so hopefully we have the opportunity to bring those back and, and learn more songs and things, which would be pretty cool. 
Pretty much, dude. Super powered black light. It is purple, isn't it? It's pretty rad. So I'm, I'm having a good time with it so far. I, you know, I was going to just do two hours today, but I think I'll do one more hour and see how much further we can get. Um, so if you guys want to stick around, we can do another another hour of, uh, of the game. Um, pretty excited to see, I guess, what's coming up next. I think now that we have a weapon, they're going to, you know, we were theorizing in our last intermission about having perhaps some more... Um, some more nastier little bad guys and i suspect those might be on their way right we'll, we'll probably come across something where the the super powered black light doesn't do the job the deflexor um brand says i like how uh, shamus also wear his clothing like marty as well or, oh shamus shamus yeah um yeah he does doesn't he he's got the <laughs> he's got the uh like a puffy vest, doesn't he? Yeah, Seamus. Seamus is a weird uh, spelling. It's spelled like that. Um, and it's very impossible to know that that's how you would pronounce that term if you just saw it written. But uh, yeah, it's a funky word. But yeah, dude, he's totally wearing the life preserver kind of thing. So it's a nice callback to Back to the Future. We've got some good references there, which I think is pretty great. Um, but no, man, I've really been enjoying Stray. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to get uh, it really kind of get sunk into it but it's been kind of a hoot to play i'm glad we wound up doing this it just looked really neat um we do have a couple of affiliate links rolling around you guys don't have to buy anything this is not what this is about but if you decide that you want to play stray as well that's the link for it on ps5 um, i couldn't find a place where you could get a steam key for it other than just going directly to steam so um if you were to buy the ps5 copy through amazon they'd give me a small kickback we got a link for it in chat there um, other than that, um, the Steam key, you just go buy it on Steam. I, I get nothing for that, but if you want to play Stray yourself, that's a great place to do it. I do recommend a controller. I'm using an Amazon Basics uh, little Xbox One controller, you can, and it's wired because I don't like batteries. Um, but you can get whatever you want. Uh, obviously, if you're playing on a console, your controller is going to be baked in. But uh, with all that out of the way, I don't know. What do you guys think is coming up next? Like, are, when we get back with Doc. Like we're gonna we're thinking about the things we need to go on the big adventure that will take us to getting out of here. We're gonna have a weapon. We're gonna have uh, radio contact with someone. Um, with like Momo, say Momo stays here and we go out on the adventure. That tends to be the way gaming stuff happens. I think um, we'll have the ability to, you know, communicate back with somebody who can talk to us we'll have a weapon we might meet a couple more of the friends uh zabaltazar and i can't remember the third outsider's name which was pretty cool um Bran says i think the part where you have to put the fuse into the generator you could just stay in the purple beam of light in front of doc there you're probably right that was getting uh pretty intense uh I wanted to get back quickly because that's been the way you avoid the Zerks this entire game. And so I certainly, I barreled in there that first time and just got wasted, which was a little scary. But, um, you know, the second time slowing down and letting Doc just kind of waste him. But he was sweeping that, that light beam around. So I kind of had to move to be in it. But I think you're right that going back in that hallway made it quite dangerous, um, which is pretty cool. Let's see. What else? Did you guys chat about anything else? Rip Kitty. Oh, that's true. Lan finesse <laughs> much more relaxing than wow's ranked yeah 100 this is way way chill way to play world uh to play video games on a sunday morning mm -hmm. yeah i thought that was going to be seamus with the fishing rod too um Bowmaster said, looks like Seamus is going fishing. This was a while ago, but definitely cool. All right, guys, with that, um, let's jump back in for another hour and uh, we'll do one more one more hour long block. Uh, and then I'm gonna punch out because I gotta come back for clan battles later today. And I don't wanna spend all day in front of the computer. So um, that's all I got. Brand says, I wish there could be a multiplayer mode for sure. Yeah, definitely guys. I've got some grapes today, which are invisible when I hold them up to the camera because they are green. Uh, but yeah, go get a snack or whatever, get comfortable. We're gonna go back and see if we can find our way um, back around to let Doc through that gate and we'll see what is next. Thanks everybody. <laughs>